He survived that frightful home invasion on Friday and tonight retired Austrian Christian Gusenberg is happy to be alive. Speaking exclusively to Love News on Monday from his hospital bed, Gusenberg explained that he has been living at Private Haven Key on the Lark Key Range, six miles off the coast of Placentia, for about an year now. I have no income since one uh, since one year because it's hard with, uh, you know, we don't get tourists. So basically I'm on my own vacation rental for tourists living out there on Lucky just with my dog since one year trying to survive by um, hunting fish with my spear gun drinking rainwater. At the time of the attack when three armed pirates pounced on Gusenweer, Mali, this brave dog, was present. It was when the armed men pulled out their weapons that Mali decided to go on the offensive. I'm giving her a dinner but we walk out again that she can do her evening business, you know, and I'm walking down my steps and all of a sudden in the darkness, imagine, you know, you were on an island on your own, right next to me, three guys with arms. And I did not know, I thought I'm, I'm dead right now. And uh, I can't really recall that it was like, don't move. My dog jumped at them. That gave me a second to react. And it was just, you know, there is no bravery, it's just instinct. Gusenbeer ran to one of his rooms and barricaded his door with a mattress as the intruders shot at him. He sat help by posting on his Facebook page and as he did that, he believed that his pet dog had been killed. My dog, don't talk about that, I will cry the next time. You want to get it? <laughs> you will have me crying all of the time. I thought that she died because she saved my life by distracting the guys. Um, that gave me the second or two seconds when she jumped at them um, that I could run upstairs. Otherwise, you know, when they said don't move and they raised the gun, I was sure they will shoot right now because I saw them. Mm -hmm. And um, so, uh, but I heard the gunshot. So I thought Mali is dead. And then after everything was done and this came, um, we tried to search the area. I mean, I asked them, if we could search the area, they said, you have to go to the ambulance. We have to bring you back to the mainland. And I said, no, I won't leave without my dog. Maybe it's, you know, bleeding somewhere and we have to rescue her too. But we couldn't find her. We couldn't see her. So but Mali was later found by fisherman Jason Westby. He had heard of the terrifying event and believing that Mali had been killed, he took it upon himself to find Mali's body for it to be buried. But he was happy when he found Mali wagging her tail. The gentleman messaged me and told me that the dog got shot and, you know, so I messaged him back and I said, if I should have buried the dog, I mean, can I go get the dog and bury him? Mm -hmm. right. He said, go ahead. And so I decided to go out there. But when I got out there, the dog was alive and the neighbors told me they saw the dog run away from the scene. Mm -hmm. So I went out there and I just waited with the police around until they left and then the dog came out. Then the whole mail for bringing the dog. I thought she is dead. On the other hand, I thought maybe because I can't find her, maybe she made it. And when I received the next day <laughs> the message, she is alive. You know, it's just the two of us out there. And um, yeah, she's a hero. She saved me. <laughs> Reporting for Love News, Hippolyta Novello.